the Rusted Knuckle Garage Build It episode because I'm poor. So I've been wanting a land plane for my skid loader for God, I don't know how long, forever. Well, they're $1,500 and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I just simply can't afford it. But what I do have is I have a pile of metal, a welder, and not a whole lot, but just a splash of knowledge. This metal has been here for about 11 years, so it's good and rusty. It's been sitting outside, of course. Why wouldn't it be sitting outside? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. So um, see what we can make happen. I got a bucket over there. It's my gravel bucket. I'm gonna use as a template to get all the angles and stuff like that. I'll show you all that stuff as we go through. So yeah, here we go. Let's build some stuff. Now, folks, there's only two rules when it comes to building stuff. Have torch, have welder, will work. So, I'm going to measure all of our stuff out here. Make sure we get it all cut to the proper lengths. And, uh, the stuff is heavy, so. You left eye grunt, ready? Of course not. Yeah. And get this stuff set up on a pallet here. So then once I get it on the pallet, I can get it level. And then I can build it so it's level, so it's not like, and then I have uneven ground. So yeah, we'll get our front bar on, our back bar on. <clears throat> and it's all quarter inch wall. We don't, we don't play around here, folks. Do not play around. And then that's where this guy comes in handy. Level. Make sure that what we're building it on is level, and that is pretty good. For this floor, I'm impressed. I'll show you guys what's going on here. So, we're putting this stuff down on a pallet. We're gonna weld the center bar in first, right? right down the middles here. And obviously we gotta cut, I got this label, we cut to 72, cut to 72 inches. So we're doing a 72 inch wide land plane. And what's really impressive about this situation, here, I'll get you guys in here so you can see this. What's really nice about this, don't mind all the crap over there. We're in the middle of building a shop and moving stuff, so don't you judge me. So now, what's really impressive is the simple fact that just one pallet, look what that does. Relatively level, not too bad. I mean, we could probably go up just a smidge on the back side here. Just a smidge, not a lot, see, not a lot. Just like a piece of paper, not a lot. But we're pretty good, so yeah. Stay tuned, more stuff to be destroyed. Now, we want to measure everything again. So I got this one marked out at 72 inches or 6 feet. So we're going to run that mark because that one's good. This one, however, not 100% sure. And no, we're not using a torch. That one's pretty good too. We're going to use a bandsaw. We're going to try and cut this stuff. My bandsaw is small, but it's cute. Measure cut twice. Measure cut twice once. Maybe, I don't know. Perfect. Uh, measure twice, cut once is what I meant to say. That's how you say it. Yep, that's, that's the way. Um, so we're gonna get this stuff cut up and bring the bandsaw over here and start building some stuff. Or messing it up, one of the two. Welcome back, hi, yeah. No, I lied. Um, we're not gonna use the bandsaw like I had said. This, this is a chop saw, that's what we're gonna use. And I know I'm wearing a different shirt than I was in the last scene, but you know, I just can't keep showing off these gardener snakes. I just can't, all right? So let's go ahead and let's try and get this stuff cut up as straight as we possibly can. I mean, it's not gonna be a perfect cut. It won't, it won't. So. Ready, set, go! Oh, 
almost forgot. Safety first. Safety is important, kids. You need to remember that. And by the way, fellers or gals that are doing this kind of stuff, if you don't have a pair of these, you're doing it wrong. Rizzo! Sparks that just came out. Make sure you're glad I had my safety googles on. All right, so with this quarter inch wall stuff, it's usually better to cut it with a chop saw unless you got a really big bandsaw, which the bandsaw that I have is it, it, it's it, it, it's little but it's cute. All right, so we got one piece done. We'll measure that, make sure it's correct because it's probably a half inch shorter than I want it to be, and it is right on the money. Sorry. Okay, so we're on to piece number two. Um, I just want you kids to know that if you don't got a lot of money and you like to do this kind of stuff, just do what I do. We just stack a bunch of crap up to hold her level so we can just trim her off nicely. So, turn you can't into you can, because I believe in you. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cut. Another one bites dust. It's so close. Look at this. It's so close and I don't have another blade. Oh. Guess we're gonna have to do it the hard way. Once again, this is why I tell you kids safety. Just grind that off, It'll be just fine. And now for our next trick, we got everything all squared, we got it all leveled. We're gonna throw some tack welds on it, then we're gonna clean up all this stuff because I know, I know it's dirty, it's dirty metal, it's dirty metal. We have nothing but the finest ass to offer. We got our whole Lincoln Electric team assembled here. Along with and including Our Lincoln welder. I know, kind of a basic. I have all the stuff that matches. But Lincoln does make the finest welding gloves. Let me tell you, if you don't have a set of these, you do a lot of fabricating, buy these puppies. They're really nice because you can move your digits freely in them. Like the envelope. So now that we're all dressed nice and warm for this cold 82 degree day, uh, we're gonna fire up the welder and get some stuff tacked up. No, we're not welding it up yet. We're just gonna tack it on. So, in case we need to make any adjustments or anything like that, we can break the tack weld. So, this is gonna be bright. Shield your eyes. Well, that was anticlimactic. It's not getting a good groan. Aha! Oh, it does not like that rust. That's all right, we're gonna clean that up. Don't worry, don't worry, we're gonna clean it up. Now remember folks, this isn't so much educational. It's entertaining. What I might be doing might be the wrong way. And I'm fine with that. So I've pretty much decided that it's way too hot to put on all that stuff. So right now we're working on the outside one. We're gonna get that all tacked up. So here we go. <laughs> As you can see, we're a little bit further along. We got the cutting edge bolt on, plate welded on, tacked on the front. It's not welded, it's just tacked. We got one of the center supports tacked in for the grading situation and the whole thing. And now we're going to figure out the measurements for these two. We're going to get those tacked in. Yay! 
Well, Team Lincoln did a good job today. So, one whole day of building this thing. So why don't you come on in and check out what we did. All right, I'm gonna come get you guys. Come, come look at this. But we got this plate for the cutting edge that we're gonna bolt on. That's all welded on there. It's not welded, it's tacked. I gotta stop doing that. And we got our leveling bars here in the middle done. Notice how they're all facing. Two of them are facing the same direction, one's facing the other. That's so when you're leveling, you know, it's just science. Okay, that, that's it. So we've only had to buy a total of three pieces for this thing. Uh, one piece being the bolt-on cutting edge, the other piece being the mounting plate. Local run-ins had that on hand, so I decided to scoop it on up. So yeah, this is one day, kids. One day, about eight-ishness hours. And next is to finish it and hopefully attach it to that thing. So there we go. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We got her all tacked up. She looks like a plane now or a land leveler or whatever they want to call it. I don't know. We're just going to come in here. We're going to clean up this rusty stuff here and in there where the tacks are. This is just to put it all together. So yeah, then we move on to the foot plate and the other pieces and we'll just get her done. I hope that's not copyrighted. We will get it done. There, now I might not get sued. like something uh well show you what we got done so far we got one more kicker to put in we'll film that we get the foot plate to put on and then we flip this puppy up drill some holes and go level some ground i don't know what people call these things uh some people call them land planes some people call them a land leveler i don't know call it whatever you want but it's a skid loader attachment that i built right here so let's take a look huh all right, this is where we're at, kids. Yeah, the third kicker that goes from there to there, probably not needed, but, you know, I'm all about, let's just go just a little bit over the top, all right? Make it somewhat indestructible. There it is, girls and guys. I'm proud of me. No blueprints, just right out of the old noggin there. Let me tell you folks what, at the Rusted Knuckle Garage, you get nothing but manufactured welds. Just saying, I mean, these look beautiful. Look at this. Oh yeah, it's pretty and it'll hold. Foot plates on or universal mounting plate. Sorry, uh, that's somewhat on. It's not welded on completely. We'll finish that tomorrow. But there you go, kids. That is the jitst, gist, jitst, some, it, that's the package right there. We put that other kicker in there, got three of them, expanded metal. Like I said, designs change about 1900 times. And guess what's back? Oh yeah, it's got a box on it now. I gotta paint that, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. All right, boys and girls, it comes to the point of the episode where it's conclusion time. It is done. It is finished. I know. I know. I'm sad, too. But, yeah, here's what we did. We put the cutting edge on it, and we're good to go. There it is. It's done. It's pretty fad. Pretty fad enough to get the paint scraped off in the first five feet. So, however, it has come to my attention. Everybody out there that's watching, I appreciate every one of you, but 60.1% of you right there, 
are not subscribed. So please do me a favor, smash that like button, smash that subscribe. I got all kinds of shenanigans we're gonna be doing. So if you like the videos, if you like what we're doing here, uh, hit that subscribe. So yeah, here she is, all done. Remember, I can't buy it because I can't afford it. So I build it. See y'all next time.